Hello pet friends, welcome. I made a video about five pros and cons pomerating as a pet. What's good about them, what's not good about them. This is the what's great about them. Here we go. Number one, they have short bursts of energy. You can get away with one good walk. Don't forget to set some time to play with your palm. Two, they love their human parent. They have a sixth sense when it comes to your emotions. They can sense your stress and anxiety and want to help you feel better. Three, their size is good for apartment or condo living. A small yard would be great if you have one. They can also be litter trained. Four, food expenses with Pomeranians won't break your budget. They eat very little. An adult can weigh four to seven pounds and should be seven to 12 inches high. Five, easy to find a Pomeranian breeder. If you like to add one to your home, they're playful extroverts. Older children are better with palms rather than small children. I wouldn't trust a toddler with one. And here we are with the five cons. What's not great about them? One, Pomeranians are noisy. They think they're little lions. The doorbell rings, knock on the door, they'll let you know. Being loud, not always good for apartment or condo living. Two, palms have to be monitored outside all the time. Be wary of eagles and other large dogs. Three, palms need a pen in your home, a place to relax and unwind. They can come and go and feel safe. Four, this breed thinks they're alpha they tend to boss other pets around in your household. Five, the dreaded one I don't really like. Alopecia, also known as black skin disease, most commonly in plush coat breeds, including Pomeranian, Alaskan Malamute, Kishans, and Chows. Their hair follicles on the body and tail quit growing and get stuck in a resting phase. The hair doesn't grow back. There are some things uh, to help like melatonin. Between one to 10 years old, the dog loses more fur due to genetics, thyroid dysfunction, adrenal dysfunction, or skin what? parasites. I hope this helps in your research for a pet Pomeranian. Now I have my experiences with Hudson, three pros and cons. What's great about him? Well, number one, he's happy and playful, wants to be close to me, and loves stroller walks. Number two, the cost of caring for Hudson is affordable. Three, bathing, he only needs about every six weeks as not to lose natural oils. And here we are with the con. Not that great. One, double coat breed. Moms need to be brushed at least every two to three days a week due to mats and tangles. Don't forget, a good spray and conditioner really helps. Number two, some can't do stairs. Being that they have short legs, depending on the steep or shallow stairs you may have. Three, winter and summer weather. 37 degrees Celsius, too hot for palms. I think it should be 27 degrees, it's too warm. Make sure to have short walk with that temperature or let out in the backyard. 2.7 Celsius in winter. Make sure to have sweater or socks for your palmster. 
If Hudson's palms start sticking to the ground, then I turn around and go home in the winter. But please use your judgment. These are guidelines only. On a side note, for walks, on regular days, I walk Hudson about 20 minutes in the mornings, about 20 minutes after supper. On real cold or hot days, he does his job, then we head back home. I forgot to mention, palms walk pretty slowly, so be prepared. Thanks for watching. Give the like button some ice cream and subscribe for more videos. Bye.